So we've seen how the requisition process works for items that are purchased. I want to show you how this works for items that are produced. So I'm going to go to this uh, item 1000 bicycle here. And uh, this item is set up with a replenishment system of production order. So uh, we're going to use production orders to produce this. And we have a quantity on hand of 32. We have a quantity on production order of 16, so that's 48. And if I'm correct, if I subtract uh, 48 from 104, we should get a, uh, a production request here for 56 units. So uh, what I want to do, first of all, is I want to look at these production orders. So if I drill in here, I see that I currently have two production orders out here, quantity of 27 and a quantity of 16. And what we're going to do is we're going to go out and create a demand for this, which will create additional production orders. And then we'll be able to check it and make sure that, uh, that, what, what our, that our demand is being met correctly. I'm going to close this item card up. And I'm going to navigate to the manufacturing area. So under manufacturing, I have an area called planning. And there's a planning worksheet like there's a requisition worksheet. The difference between these are that the requisition worksheet only looks at purchased items and only creates purchase orders. This planning worksheet has a function called calculate regenerative plan and this not only will calculate uh, items that need to be produced, but it'll also calculate any items that are needed for the components on those at the time that I'm that I'm doing that. So I'm going to leave this item number blank. It's a very uh, we we have a a small database here. I'm going to calculate uh, MPS and MRP. So when I run this, what happens is that it goes out and it looks at everything that I have to produce. And if you notice the the top three items here are that bicycle that I was looking at originally. So it's planning on producing, uh, having setting up four different production orders for that. If I slide over just a little bit here, you can see the replenishment system for this is production order. Uh, some of these items are actually purchased. Some are to be transferred because the requisition method uh, includes, if I'm short, to transfer it from a different location. So this is an all-encompassing piece that's looking at items that need to be produced and, and the components that are required to produce those items. And what do I need to order and what am I short? So this is a very comprehensive uh, planning piece that uh, Dynamics NAV has. So I'm going to um, delete these lines. So I've just highlighted them all. I'm going to select Delete Lines, and this will delete all the lines that are in this uh, planning worksheet. And I'm going to calculate this again. I'm going to delete this uh, forecast because I don't want to use that. And here I'm going to just look at my uh, item 1000, my bicycle that we talked about. I'm going to say OK. And what this is doing is bringing these in and it's matching these up against open sales orders for them. So. I have uh, four <coughs> sales orders here where the demand is not satisfied. So it's suggesting that I create uh, four production orders for this. And if I wanted to, I could delete three of these and I could change this quantity to be the full amount. But if we look at this, we have 32 plus 20 is 52 plus 4 is 56. So this comes up to meet the demand that we had. So we had a demand of, uh, I believe it was 104, and we needed 56 more in order to fulfill that demand. So uh, I'm going to leave some of these out here because I, uh, I like to have them in the demo database. So what I'm going to do is uh, select three of these lines and delete them. And I have one item left out here, or one line left out here, to produce a production order. And again, this has the same kind of thing that we saw in the requisition worksheet. It has a little checkbox, and these all come in as checked, to accept the action message, and um, or carry out the action message here. And when I do that, this will go out and produce a production order for me. So all I have to do is click this Carry Out Action Message button. And it, tells, it asks me what I want to create here, whether I want to create a firm planned order, 
a, a planned, firm plan, whatever, whatever kind of uh, production order here that I want to produce. And I'm going to simply say OK. And this has created my firm plan production order for me. So if we exit out of here, and return back to our item. So this is my bicycle. And I now have 20 on production order instead of 16. I drill in here and here's the new production order that I just created for this for the quantity of four. And we can navigate to this and show the document. And uh, this is our firm plan production order that we just created out here. Now this would, this would create uh, uh, thousands of production orders if if I had that many in the uh, in the worksheet not only will it create production orders but it'll also create purchase orders all simultaneously